let's see, I'm just checking real quick to see. They're doing a lot of construction around St. Louis. And I'm just looking at what Google Maps says to do. So Google Maps says to go straight through St. Louis and pick up I-55. Alright, good morning, afternoon. Let's see, I think it's 12 o'clock here. We're in uh, Sullivan, Missouri at the Flying J Truck Stop. Um, I just topped off the tanks with some cheap Missouri fuel before we get to Illinois. Uh, we got the truck fixed last night. It cost $185, which I thought was fairly reasonable considering it's truck stop and the truck is fixed so we don't have to worry about that for a while um, from right here we got about uh, 70 miles oh I meant to check that we got about 70 miles to um, uh, St. Louis we're gonna try to get to Rochelle Illinois the Petro truck stop there that's our uh, Plan. from right here we got about 404 miles let's see I'm just checking real quick to see they're doing a lot of construction around st. Louis and I'm just looking at what Google Maps says to do so Google Maps says to go straight through st. Louis and pick up I-55 so that's the plan so we got four 400 miles from right here um, We've already driven a little over 200 miles this morning. We'll get on the other side of St. Louis, over on I-55, and uh, see if we can find a nice spot to take our 30 minute break. And then we'll make our way up to uh, Rochelle. There's a big petrol up there. I like stopping up there. And from that Rochelle, where we gotta go is about 120 miles. So tomorrow, Sunday, we'll uh, shoot up a little bit closer to Milwaukee. And then that will get us a little bit closer. There, uh, if I remember right, they built a little truck stop on, what is that, 43 I think it is? up to Milwaukee but there's a little truck stop there got parking for about 15 trucks so we might get lucky and stay right there now I've stopped here before and I've said this and I don't know what it is about flying Jays but this is a little crazy trying to get out of here there's no traffic lights it's all stop signs so you gotta stop here pull up there stop pull up again stop so it gets a little, uh, a little crazy. been doing good this morning like I said we got that fixed I thought bad $185 at the truck stop to get it fixed I am not complaining they charged a flat rate to uh, replace that uh, speed sensor which is a good thing that way you uh, you don't go to one shop or one petrol or what TA I think they're TAs now you don't go to one and they say, oh, with the hour and a half, and then you go to the other one, they say, well, it's two hours. So the flat rate was $99 to, uh, to install it. And their hourly rate was $120. So, like I said, I didn't think it was that bad. All right, we will uh, make our way through St. Louis. I cleaned some of the bugs off the window, so. Hopefully we'll get some decent uh
Okay, we made it over here to uh, Lincoln, Illinois. I almost said Nebraska. Uh, I stopped and filled up the death tank. I wanted to show you a couple things back here in the sleeper. I uh, recovered, do you remember those boards I had? And I had black fabric. Well, I found some um, American flag fabric. Pretty patriotic. Um, let's see here. And then the other thing I did is, if it shows up, I added a voltmeter to the sleeper so I could monitor. You remember the couple times that uh, that the uh, batteries were dead? Well, this way I can wake up in the morning and look and see if I have voltage. Plus, also when the generator is running, I can tell if it's charging the batteries or not. So that was a couple things I did in here. Uh, let's go outside. I'll show you what I did outside here. Oh. And then, uh, like I said yesterday, I uh, I mounted the uh, satellite dish, but I also installed, I call it shore power. Uh, I also put a plug in so I can plug the extension cord in, and then I moved some things around in here. So, I know it kind of looks like a little bit of spaghetti, but it's not as bad as it looks. Um, this is the shore power. So if you plug it in, this right here is generator power, and then it got the inverter. This cord right here is the for the air conditioner. So uh, I know it kind of looks a little messy, but it's actually better than it was. It's easier. Everything's right here. Before this plug, this generator plug was way in the middle of the truck in the sleeper, so I, I moved that. Uh, the shore power works pretty good. So I did that. Oh, let's do, look at this. The truck is doing good after I got it fixed. I told you that. But this is the part. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. So this is speed sensor. Also, people call it ABS sensor. So this is the little piece that I was talking about that sits in there. And this is actually like a magnet. So some maybe it's shorted out or whatever, but I told the guy to give me the old one back just in case. So uh see what else is going on. That's about it. Just uh we're taking a 30 minute break from right here. Uh from right here we got uh two two hundred and forty miles up to Rochelle. So I think that's where we're gonna spend the night up there, take a shower, then tomorrow head on over. Other than that, not too much else. I, I didn't do a whole lot to the truck while I was on and painted the trailer. You guys saw all that. It's holding up pretty good. The little, our little tar machines are holding up good. So that's about it. All right, let me finish my, um, let me finish my 30 minute break. I got about uh, 15 minutes or so, and then uh, we'll get going. So I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, it's the end of the day. Uh, we're over here in Rochelle, Illinois. Uh, I've actually been here a little while. I don't know if you can show up, but the sky is pretty dark over there. It did rain pretty good when, uh, that's my mask right there. It did rain pretty good on the way over here. Now we're at the little Circle K truck stop. Petra's right over there. So I'll probably walk over there and uh, get a shower. Get cleaned up. Um, today is pretty uneventful, which is a good day. So uh, from right here, we got about 120 miles for tomorrow. Now we're going to go to a little truck stop. It's 120 miles from here to Milwaukee. We're going to go to a little truck stop um, off of 43, I think it is. I don't, I don't remember where the town is at, but uh, that'll put us a little bit closer. Um, I've actually been to this place before that uh, we're delivering to. I looked it up on Google Maps on Friday when I gave him a call. And I was like, man, I've been there before. And I've actually been to the place in Ohio that we're going to. So I've been to both of those places, delivering these same little things. So that's it. Truck did okay today. Everything's going pretty good. All right, we'll call it quits. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.